I think I got one more target in this yard here. I've been getting a lot of surface cloud here. I found a silver quarter uh, about 10 or 15 minutes ago. I talked to the homeowner, just he came out. He came out and talked to me for a few minutes and asked me a few questions about the detector and stuff like that. And we're we're just talking about detecting and stuff. And he, uh, he said he found a big chunk of lead in his backyard. And that's another weedy. Only two weedies? No. So I, I found a lot of cloud in this front yard here. He said he found a huge chunk of lead, a big bar, a big bar of lead in his backyard. But I'm gonna go back and, ooh, there's a, there's a nice one. I'm liking that. Those mid-tones, man. I can't, can't refuse these things, man. So I'm on my last pass of this front yard here. I'm on my last pass. Is it gonna be a ring? And what's it gonna be? Oh, it said, it says chromie. It's been about five days since I found a chromie. So I haven't been finding too many of them. Usually I find them almost every day. At least the last month or so, I've been finding them pretty much every day. Sometimes two or three of them. Okay, my last pass right here. My last pass. This one sounds very shallow. I just put new batteries in my pinpointer, so it should be able to detect it. Yeah, it's gonna be deeper. I'm going in deeper on this one. Most of my zinc pennies been right on the surface here, so this could be a deeper relic here, I'm hoping. Oh yes, it's a weedy. It looks like a weedy. It's shining up like a weedy, it is a weedy. My, my other weedy that I got from this yard was a 1918 or 1919. Beautiful weedy. Let me let me scrub this one up a little bit here. Let's make a couple scrubs on it. Scratch it up. Ooh, this one's kind of 1926 or 1920. 1920. 1920 weedy. So that's good, man. I wasn't getting any high tones. I was reading up in the 50s, 52. Let me go like this. Deposit that through there. Okay. So 1920 and a 1919 Weedy and a 1941 Silver Quarter out of this yard so far. And I'm on my last pass right here on my grid of the front yard. Alrighty. There's another surface coin right here, right on the edge of the fence line here. There's no fence here, but this is property boundary. I haven't asked the next door neighbor yet. I, uh, my buddy Dave told me when I was out here digging, he said, oh, the next door neighbor came out and looked at you. I didn't notice. So I hadn't even noticed. I was probably right in the middle of a target or something. Okay, another zinc penny in the bag, and that's my wrap up from this yard here. Two Wheaties, one silver nickel, and a lead bale seal, and a couple other relics. There's a squeaker here. I know there's silver in this street. I've found a lot of silver in this curb strips here. Oh, that sounds awesome. That sounds really good. It's gotta be somewhere close right here. Is it another weedy? Oh, I see a coin ball right there. Is that a coin ball? It sure does look like a coin ball. Is it another weedy? Oh, it is a beautiful 1914 weedy. Oh man, the date just popped right out at me, man. Oh gosh. 1914, oh man, it's actually 1913. Boy. No, it's another 1918 Weedy. Beautiful shape, man, just like mint. Man, that is a beautiful coin. Let me make sure there's no, 
something else in there. So that one was really scratchy too, reading up in the 50s. 50s and lower 60s. So two Wheaties right in a row, man. Reading up really low. Oh, I'm starting to get warm now. Oh, that sounds awesome. It's really scratchy though. I think it's gonna be a washer. It could be a silver coin right next to some iron, but normally the iron doesn't sound off. It doesn't give me a response when I get a silver coin, a deep, deep silver coin. Oh, it's deep, man. Oh, that's gonna be good. If it's that deep, man, that's good because I have my smaller coil with me today. Oh, it's probably gonna be iron. It's like I said, it's probably gonna be some junk, like a washer or something. Oh, I'm right on top of it. Let me just use my, take it out by hand here. It's gotta be a nail or something. What the heck is it, man? It's a nail down there. I'm gonna pull it out. A square nail, look at that sucker. Very good size square nail. So that's probably what it was because square nails really give you a lot of high tones, but they're choppy. I thought it was gonna be a washer, but let me smack that again. Oh, I just made a little bit of a mess right there. <clears throat> Nothing. So I'm starting to get warm here. I'm starting to get really warm. Oh, it sounds like oil. It could be near the surface, but I don't, I'm not thinking so. I think it's gonna be some deeper foil. Mmm. Hockey, that sounded really good. It's not giving me too much chatter. It could be a nickel. Could very well be a nickel. It could be a buffalo nickel, man. No. I was way off with that pinpoint. But it... Those mid conductors are really hard to find sometimes. It's right there. It's some junk. Those oblong pieces are hard, hard to pinpoint too. Hmm, what is that actually? Is it a pair of scissors there? Let me scrub that up actually a little bit. Looks like the end of a pair of scissors. No, it's actually a hair tie. That is actually a cool find right there. You scrub up some of your stuff that you think is junk, and it turns out to be not junk. But it still is junk to me, you know. Let me see if I can get a name off it there. Wow, it's coming clean, too. It is coming really clean. Tip Top, product of USA. It's not very heavy. It's aluminum. Let me see if I can bend it a little bit here. Yeah, it bends really easy, so it's aluminum, but I will put that in my in my bag there and I'll do some research on it tonight. Tip top. Hair products. Mmm, listen to that. Sounds really junky. It could be another square nail, deeper. And probably off the side of my plug there. It's probably gonna be deep in the sidewall. Those iffy targets do that, you know. It could be silver too, right next to some iron or something. What's that? What's that, man? Dude. Dude, looks epic, man. Oh, it's heavy too. It's silver, man. Oh, this is silver. It might be silver. 
Looks like a pine cone. It is a pine cone. Hmm. It's got some iron on it, but it definitely looks like a pine cone. It's some kind of jewelry or something. It's heavy. Very, very heavy. But it's just silver plated. Um, it actually might be... It might be like a, a tool, like a abrasive tool. Let me see if that's really hard. Yes, it's extremely hard. Hmm, no, it's jewelry. It's part of a pendant, but I'll keep that. It's reading up really high, man. Not super, super stable signal, but you know, if you give me those high tones in there, I'll bet you there's some more in there. I'm hoping. Nope. It's a nail in there with it. So these strips right here are just awesome to dig in, man. I wonder where Dave went to. He took off, man. I think he took off. I don't think I've dug a curve strip out yet. yet. No, so... I haven't been back with my Bibio. I've rent, I've, I've dug this strip with my other White's machines, but um, not with my Nocta machines. This strip right here, I, I haven't dug yet with my Nocta machines. But I'm just parked right on the corner. I'm about seven blocks away from my house, maybe eight blocks away from my house. But I just happened to be driving by and I saw my buddies. I saw my buddies digging. I'm like, oh, I'll dig with you guys for a little bit. There's a coin ball just plopped right up in my hand right there. Right there, is the coin ball? It is a coin ball. This could be another weedy. Wow, that one, that one came out nice too in the back. Wow. The weedies, man, they're coming out. Yep. This one's not as old. But let me do, I'm gonna scrub on it. Cause it's not green. Oh man, this thing is crunchy. 1954, you know, takes a long time for those coins to go green like that when they get all waxy and green. So, well, there we go. There's some Wheaties for you guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. <laughs>